In this video, I'm going to show you how to do some cool effects with text, uh, just using some different layer blending to create some different graphical impact. So, um, I've got a picture here of a zebra, and I want to add some text over this. So, the simplest thing I can do is just use the text tool here. So if you use this hover down, um, you'll see there's a text tool and a text selection tool. We actually just want the text tool. And if I click and drag, I get to choose roughly how large my text will be. I can also then choose a different font. It will always default to Times New Roman, so you might want to choose something a little bit different. And then I can just enter my text. Now, it might be that I just want something really quite simple, in which case I can just click on my move tool and now I can move that around my page. And if I want to change that text again, I can click text and I can select it and I can change it. I could change its size. I could uh, change its color from this block here. Uh, I could change what's actually written if I'd misspelt something or whatever. Um, so I can, I can make all those changes I want to. Um, but it's also because it's a layer it's introduced this text layer which you'll see with a T there I can switch it on and off to show that that's a layer I can move it and resize it and rotate it independently so I can use the deform tool here and I can choose to uh, make this larger by uh, grabbing a handle from one of the corners if I hold shift it'll resize in proportion so I can remake that layer larger and smaller move it around I could also rotate it if I wanted to. Um, so it might be that I just want to do something really simple like that. In which case, you know, there's your text and, and well done, you've done that. But let's say we want to do something a bit more interesting. Let's say we want to sort of blend these, uh, blend this text into the background a bit. Well, for this I can use my different uh, layer blending modes. I could also use my opacity, so I could make my text sort of slightly transparent so it blends in a bit. Uh, that certainly works, uh, but of course eventually it makes your text maybe a bit less easy to read. So let's put that back to 100%. Let's look at some of these, bl these blend modes. Now these modes will have, each one has a different way of combining um, the layer that is selected, i.e. my text layer, with the layer beneath it, or layers beneath it. Um, and they tend to be based on the differences in color or light between those two layers. So some of these, if I've got white text, will have no effect at all, like multiply or darken. Because white is light, it can't, I can't darken um, any of the image below it. I can, however, lighten it, so if I use lighten, it, but because it white is as, as light as you can get, it kind of doesn't, doesn't give any real great effect. It's more interesting when you start applying some color. So let's go back and select our text and let's choose a color, maybe something like red. And uh, now let's see if I start applying multiply, you'll see that the text um, has now the layer underneath it showing through. Uh, what about burn? Uh, it's become a little bit brighter. Okay, so that looks quite nice. Um, I could try, uh, then I do darken already. Um, screen, okay, so that's much lighter. Dodge, again, just the, the light highlights are coming through. Uh, so you can play with these different effects and see what kind of impact it has and what kind of different uh, style you get from it. And it might be that you find a style you really like. Um, while you've got a layer mode on, you can still select your text and choose to change its color and see the impact that that's going to have. So uh, with this particular one with burn, the darker the um, the darker the, the text color, the more you're going to see it coming through. So you might get some really interesting effects if you choose uh, quite dark variants of colors, whereas if you do lighter ones, then it won't show you nearly as much of it. So that's just a really cool way of playing with text and getting some different styles um, from your text when you combine them with images in PhotoPlus using these different layer modes.